yes, here we are. <laughs> out in the woods again. And Jasper just got out of the pond, so he just left a little bit of mud and water on my pants for me. Anyway, all good. So, last night, like many, 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 many people around the world, um, I sat down and watched the final chapter, chapter nine, if you will, of the Star Wars saga. I think it was called The Rise of Skywalker. Ah, great story. Spoiler alert. Love wins. <laughs> All right. Anyway, as usual, good, good fun. Lots of good fun. And uh, an interesting story because it has all kinds of elements in it that are really classical elements that have gone back all the way to Greek theater, Greek drama, and beyond. Really years and years and years worth of underlying symbology, if you will. Good and evil fight and all of that kind of stuff. You know, the heroes find that extra bit of courage and strength and reason and passion and purpose and all of that good stuff. Anyway, so it was a good story. And I want to talk about stories a little bit today during this walk in the woods. Um, we all have our stories. Stories we tell ourselves about ourselves, about our place in the world, about what we're capable of, what um, everything means whether or not it has any kind of meaning and purpose to us or whether it's just incidental information. In any case, we have these stories we tell ourselves about ourselves, our world, and our place in our world. And we also have stories, usually quite different, that we tell the world about us, other people. We, we have this story that we like to convince them that is true about us, about who we are and um, what we're capable of and what we're doing on this planet as we walk around, all of that kind of stuff. We have these stories that we tell about ourselves. And then there is this story, this grand narrative that we live within. Um, and we usually go about walking around in that grand narrative. Jasper, come here, buddy really without thinking too much about it, about how we came to be caught up as in that grand narrative as a character in the role that we end up playing. So we have this grand narrative that we usually just accept um, without really any critical thinking or intent so it's kind of like an unconscious acceptance of the way things are, right? And that the way things are are kind of formed for us by um, authority figures, people we respect, uh, our institutions, our societal norms, uh, the culture that we grew up in, the religion, the educational system, whatever it is that was formative into creating this narrative, this grand narrative the story of reality that we exist within. And we take it for granted most of the time. We don't really question it. We just like go about saying, okay, this is the way things are. This is the story of reality. And my part in it is, you know, kind of a given. Although I have some latitude, I can do this and I can do that. But it's generally, you know, an accepted kind of, I got this wall on this side and this wall on this side, and I'm walking between them and following this path that's kind of defined for me, even though I exercise some little bit of free will when I get to a fork in the road and I decide to go this way instead of this way. Um, so, you know, we have this narrative. And then, for some unknown reason, um, and I won't speculate, but for some unknown reason, something dramatic happens and all of a sudden, that narrative is fundamentally shifted. And we end up, for some reason or other, buying into this layer that's been, poof, just put there over top of our normal, everyday narrative that we were living within, going on our normal lives, living within, in, within this story, if you will. And now, all of a sudden, somebody came along with this plot twist. We don't know where it came from. Maybe some of us think we do, but... All of a sudden there's this plot twist and we just for some reason or other 
feel like we have to buy into that plot twist and accept it. Go on with our lives and say, okay, well, this is the new reality. I wasn't expecting it, but I turned the page on the end of that chapter and there's a new chapter and all of a sudden here we are. And so I'm, I guess I'll just do whatever I'm called upon to do within this wall and this wall and not stray outside. You know, maybe I have a few choices within this new narrative, but it is a new narrative and I get to live within it. And we don't ask why, and we don't apply critical thinking, and we don't ask if there's an agenda behind it, or if there's um, a motivation behind it. We don't say to ourselves, what the fuck is going on here? And why is it going on? And how can I possibly respond to what's going on without you know, me giving it my permission or without me having any input? All of a sudden there's this new narrative that I'm supposed to exist within without question. And I guess I'll just follow along do whatever. And we don't think about it. We don't ask why. And we don't say, you know, this kind of sounds like it might be um, an artificial layer. It's like somebody just scratched out the old script and wrote in a new script for some reason or another. We don't ask why. And that puzzles me. It, it puzzles me. And, and I, you know, I, I like to ask people to think. And, you know, all the time. So in my social media posts, Facebook and whatever, I say things that is designed to impel people to think about certain things in a new way, perhaps, um, or at least slightly different to cause them to say to themselves, huh, that's a different perspective. Maybe I need to incorporate that into the way I look at things. So um, I want to encourage you to, to think about the story you're telling yourself about whatever it is that's going on around you now, or in, you know, forget about this situation in any point in your life, six months ago or six months from now to, you know, whenever you're just automatically going through your life and telling yourself your personal stories about who you are and where your place in the world is, but also buying into the grand narrative to stop and say, just a second now, is this real? And is this, more importantly, the reality that I want to live within? Is this something that I can do something about? Maybe something that my voice will have an opportunity to get other people to think, and maybe collectively we can change the grand narrative. So the question I guess I want to ask you is, is the narrative that you're buying into empowering to you personally? Is it, does it empower you? Or does it disempower you? And if it disempowers you, why on earth are you buying into it? Something to ponder. Anyway, Jasper here, look at him, standing there saying, can we just get on with it, huh? He just, <laughs> can we just go for a walk? <laughs> why do we have to stop all the time and do this stuff? All right, thank you, love you all. Think critically, ask yourself why, 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 why? Okay, ciao, bye.